What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I figured before this tornado blew in and knocked this place over, I'd get in here and get some groceries, man. The new year is right here. You gotta eat right. We're all trying to go into the new year with uh, some goals in mind, right? You wanna stay lean, you wanna stay trim, you wanna lose some weight. Well, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'll take you guys along with me. And we're gonna get some good stuff and uh, have a little fun. You ready? Let's go. Step one, the first thing I always do when I get here is I get me some veggies. Now, favorite veggie out of all of them is probably zucchini because there's like, you can eat like eight ounces of this and there is only seven grams of carbs and like no calories. So if I'm just trying to get like no carbs in, I will mix like ground turkey, chicken, whatever with zucchini. And you could literally eat like two pounds of zucchini and it's like 24 grams of carbs. Lots of fiber, good stuff. So zucchinis is probably my one vegetable that like I swear by. Like I'll eat zucchini every single day. Like zucchini is just about the only vegetable I have in my fridge like all all the time. I'll swap other things out. The zucchini is a staple here, man. Boom. You just want to double check them because every now and again, if you got a lot of zucchini sitting here, they'll like mold a little bit and you can see like hair start growing on the end. There'll be like some stuff on there's like hair growing out of it. You know my motto. If there's hair on it, let it go, man. And these will probably last us for about five days. Spinach for me is also huge, man. Uh, spinach, kind of the same thing as zucchini. So low calorie, and the key is I find like when I'm dieting, I'm in a calorie deficit, having foods that like fill my stomach up, like veggies and things like that, are a staple. So I guess if I said zucchini is like something I always keep around, spinach usually fits in there too. I mean, man, you can cook spinach in like two seconds, throw it in with your eggs, right? Right. So I got two veggies out of the way, so protein. Probably the most important thing when you're trying to diet. Not only is it gonna keep you fuller, it's gonna help you build muscle, it's gonna help your body prioritize fat loss over muscle loss, things like that, you know? I don't gotta go too in detail, but eat your protein, kids. Now, some people give me crap about buying a Walmart chicken, but it's $1.99 a pound, man, look at that. We got 4.5 pounds for $9.03. I haven't got that much deal on a meat since the first date we had. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good deal on meat, bud. If I am wanting a little more flavor, right, chicken thighs, hold up. I was gonna point out boneless, skinless chicken thighs, but they do not have them. And to be honest, I don't think anybody wants to mess with peeling that off. But chicken thighs, if you can find them boneless, skinless, are good. They have a little more fat. But to me, it's like uh, the chicken tastes a ton better. And if you really want to do like minimal trimming, you don't want to have to mess with any of it, right? Chicken tenderloins are a little more. These are $3 a pound instead of two, but they're already like good. You just use a scissor and like cut them into little pieces. That easy. So we'll just go with this four and a half pound thing of chicken. This will probably last me for three or four days. Be good. One of my favorite proteins as well, if you really don't want to have to mess with like the work of it, right? You just want to throw in a skillet, cook it, is 99% lean ground turkey. They only have 98% here at Walmart, but I mean, you're only talking like a gram of fat per four ounce serving. But I mean, if you look at this whole pack, man, only six grams of fat, 108 grams of protein here. Like last night, we were sitting around. I needed some protein in me. I cooked up an entire pound of this and well, like eight ounces of zucchini. Sat there and ate it, man. Does it sound like the most delicious thing you've ever had? Uh-uh, but I think the gains are worth it, right? Are the gains worth it? Yes. You heard it here, folks. So we got chicken and we got ground turkey taken care of. If you want ground beef and you are dieting, now you can fit like fattier versions of meat, like 85, 10, 80, 20 into your diet, but it's a lot of fat, man. That's a lot of fat. So I keep it cool. I do 96.4 lean ground beef. Doesn't taste as good as the full fat ground beef because fat equals flavor. But I mean, if I want ground beef, especially if I'm mixing it in with other stuff, this is really good. And I wanna give you guys a pro tip here, something I've learned over the years of shopping. The last thing you wanna do is buy food and have to throw a lot of it away, right? When meat goes bad, you don't cook it, you should be cooking it, but if you don't cook it, you know. So what I discovered was that if you buy it packaged like this, not only is it like 50 cents more for a pack, when you buy it in the tube, it seems like the expiration date's always further out. So like this one is January 1st, it expires. This one is January 5th and it expires. So I almost always go for the tube version because you save money and it's gonna keep better. So pro tip there, man. Remington James tip of the day. What do you think of the tip of the day? I like the tip. She loves tip. <laughs> and we all love bread, right? I mean, I think you'd have to be like a super villain to not love bread. One of my favorite things of bread here, well, I would say it's a pita bread, technically. It's Joseph's whole wheat, flax, oat bran, whole wheat, <laughs> pita bread. You get six grams of protein for one of these things and only 60 calories of pita. So for me, man, if you watched my um, barbecue chicken pizza video or really just a lot of my videos, I'll take these, I'll do like fat fruit cheese, I'll throw like some turkey pepperoni on it or maybe ground beef, really whatever. I'll make like little pizzas with these guys and they're really good. You can make like a taco with it. A lot of versatility here for keeping your carbs pretty low. And you have nine grams of carbs and two grams of fiber, only 1.5 fat. I mean, that's a win, man. Pita breads are good and they're like pre-portioned. You don't need a whole loaf. 
You know what I mean? Because when you eat the whole loaf, you're gonna feel like uh, a loaf after. I don't wanna just be a loaf, you know? So yeah, pita bread, good choice. Now, who doesn't love tortillas? When you can diet, you can make tacos. How many of you have seen my burrito meal prep video where I take the burritos and like I do a whole meal plan as freezer burritos? That's a good one. If you haven't seen it, check it out. When it comes to tortillas, right, I used to be huge into buying these ones. These are carb balanced tortillas. They got a lot of fiber, so what? 19 grams of carbs, 15 grams of fiber per tortilla. Used to buy these ones, and then I found out in my older years, in my wizened years, that these just aren't big enough. I can't put enough stuff in these and wrap them up. So I used to do these all the time. These might be great if you want something quick, right? You want a lot of fiber, whatever. But for me, man, I'm not really worried about all the fiber because I'm eating my veggies. I just get the big boys here. And I do like my freezer burrito style stuff, or if I just want burritos that night, man, I could cook up a pound of ground beef, throw them in here with a little maybe some queso, some fat-free cheese, whatever, put them in the oven. That makes one heck of a meal. You don't feel like you're dieting and you're making gains at the same time. Depending on how many carbs you have in your diet is how many of these you can have. You got 36 grams of carbs per one of these. I mean, I can easily fit in three of these. Three big burritos, put a pound of meat in them, split them up. You're talking 100 grams of carbs, 100 grams of protein. Really, uh, dieting is all about planning ahead. So you can give me a big old bag of the burrito grande, baby. We're gonna use these. So are you the type that is not gonna eat your vegetables? You're not gonna buy the zucchini, you're not gonna buy the spinach, you're not gonna cook it, you're not gonna eat it. Well, don't be uh, discouraged. There's ways to get them in. Hold up. Stuff like these, right? This is 100% vegetable pasta. I know what you're thinking. This probably doesn't taste good. I'm telling you, if you just steam bag this, because this is a microwave thing, right? Throw in the microwave for a couple minutes. When you pull this out, I mean, you know, maybe I'm a little biased because I've been dieting, but it just tastes like mac and cheese, right? And one of my favorite things to do lately is, especially if like, I have macros left over, I'll make two of these at one time, right? Veggie pasta, lots of fiber, lots of protein, cook up some ground beef, cook up some ground turkey, cook up some chicken, whatever, throw it in a big bowl with this, sit there and eat it. You really don't feel like you're dieting and the macros are really good. So normally what I do is at a time, I'll buy two packs of the cheddar. Hold up. This is mac and cheese, it's like the same thing, but it's a different shape. So we're gonna count it as something different. Two of the rotini Alfredo. That one's really good with chicken. And I actually had these last night. This is rotini marinara. You're feeling a little bit of spaghetti, make you some of that lean beef, throw it in here with this. Maybe a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Gosh dang, man, dieting doesn't have to be hard. Just find things you like to eat. If you like to eat it, it's easy to cook, and you give yourself 10 minutes to prep it. I mean, heck, man, you can't, you can't lose at this. You can't lose, you just gotta do it, right? At the end of the day, you just gotta do it. Sauces, sauces, sauces. I don't expect you to eat all this plain. I don't. I don't eat it plain all the time. What I like to do is find some staple sauces that aren't going to add a bunch of calories, that are gonna add good flavor, and I just throw those on, man. Some of my favorites, you probably already know. If you've been on the channel for a minute, you probably already know. But this sweet and spicy barbecue sauce by G Hughes is a game changer. Literally, every time I come here, I stock up. I'm probably gonna get a few bottles. Get a few of these. We got a nice little haul here, man. And then I think I got hot sauce at the crib. Sriracha, I'm big on sriracha, I love it. Little bit goes a long way with flavor. I think we're good on hot sauces, but just to give you guys like an example, cause you might not know any better. I used to not know any better, right? Something like the G Hughes has, I think in the entire bottle, the only thing in it is 34 grams of carbs, right? That's still some carbs. If you're using a whole bottle, you need to go get professional help, but a little bit goes a long way. It's kind of negligible in the grand scheme of things, right? But if you look at something like a Frank's Red Hot, no calories at all, it's just hot sauce, right? Just chili pepper condensed down to liquid form. But if you get something like this medium wing sauce and you think you're doing good, 24 servings in here, each serving has 1.5 grams of fat. So that's nine minutes, 15 calories for every serving. This you could probably still get away with, right? But something like Parmesan garlic wing sauce, every serving, six grams of fat, 24 servings in this whole thing. So you'd end up, if you had like, you know, let's say like a quarter of this bottle, that's like 400 calories, right? So, and people don't know, man. People are like making all this healthy food. They're getting this, they're smothering parm garlic on it and think they're eating good, not realizing that you're just, this is BS right here. It's good. But it's like BS. Look at the label on your sauces. It's it's that easy, right? Mm -hmm, yep. So yeah, be mindful of uh, your sauces, man, and just understand that when G's on top, everybody wins, baby. Nope, fix it. Fix what? You didn't put it back. Where'd I put it? You put it there. Oh. It goes there. <laughs> There we go. Another quick staple too, man. If you just want to add protein with none of the calories of regular peanut butter, can't go wrong with that. Now this is a little expensive, but uh, you can buy like the off-brand version. I don't see it here, but it's just powdered peanut butter. It's gonna be the same thing, but I love this stuff. Two servings of this and a shake adds 16 grams of protein. You got oatmeal, you wanna add some protein to it. Do four servings of this, that's 32 grams of protein you just added to your oatmeal with some good peanut flavor. So PB Fit, man, I have a ton at the house, but you know, I gotta share all these with you. You'd be good now. So when it comes to what I drink, some people are big on like no diet pop. 
I am not one of those people. I think that I would rather like let a little bit of this into my life and stay on my diet than completely deprive myself of everything I love and I just become, you know, former shell of myself. You know, I'm just that guy eating celery at the restaurant where everybody else is enjoying <laughs> stuff. I'm, I'm just like a rabbit, you know? People are wondering if I'm okay. My, I get more pale, you know? I, <laughs> so yeah, I leave uh, stuff like this in. Diet root beer is good. I basically do diet pops that don't have any caffeine in them. Cause a lot of times like before bed, uh, if I'm hungry or like, you know, I'm dieting or whatever and I kind of want something, but I don't want to like eat, eat my calories, right? These are zero calorie and I can just drink one, but I don't want the caffeine like keep me up at night. So I do this, hit that thumbs up button for my camera woman right here, man. How have these angles been this whole time? They've been good? Do I look big? Do I look small? Can't discount a good angle. So, there's loudspeakers, man. <laughs> What's he even saying? Edit this out. There we go, that's more like it. Okay. I'll buy a gallon every time I come to the store and I'll typically fill it up out of like my purified water thing for like a week straight and then I'll buy a new one like once a week. Put aminos in here, but I always kind of have a gallon around because I want to make sure I'm getting a gallon of water in a day, man. I think it just helps with everything. Makes you feel better, makes you sleep better. Just, uh, just water, man. A gallon a day keeps the dock away, right? What's the hint about the gallons of water, though? What's the hint? What kind of top does it have to have? Oh, gosh, yeah. So I'm big on, you want the ones with the screw on top. Don't buy a pop top, because the first time you go dry, because the first time you got a pop top and that thing falls over, that pop top falls off. Like, ha like it happened in my car and like just flooded my passenger seat. <laughs> flooded my passenger seat. That wasn't a good look for anybody involved. Because down here in Texas, it's all pop tops. Like everywhere. This is the one, you know, people are like, why do you buy the cylinder? You know? I'm like, well, because it's got the it's got the screw top, not the pop top. Are we getting a little in the weeds with this one? A little bit. Let's move on. This is one of the most dangerous aisles in the store. This is the cereal aisle, man. I don't know about you guys. I love cereal. Like I love I, I see fruity pebbles, I see Reese's puffs, they got Reese's big puffs. I mean, just all cereal is good, right? But you gotta keep walking. You gotta walk past all the shit. <laughs> you gotta walk past all the sugary stuff, right? Get yourself down to the organic section. Bingo. When I'm buying cereal, oh, this cinnamon French toast. If you watched my uh, all cereal meal plan video, you need to watch that. This is good stuff right here. I like this. And then what else we got? This one, this is good too. Honey cinnamon cashy and cinnamon French toast cashy. Both of these, you can't beat it, man. You, you can't. As long as you pair it with some unsweetened almond milk. You can buy the big jug like this, way better than regular milk. I feel like dairy like breaks me out and I get a bunch of bad like side effects from dairy, upset stomach, all that. You don't have that with this. Nut milk, baby. <laughs> Nut milk. So we're done shopping. My only gripe with this Walmart is that at any given time, this place can be packed and there is one line open, register two, one line open to get your stuff. So you can come with a big, thing of groceries and you gotta self check out. You just have to, or else you're here for an hour. I didn't realize I worked here, you know? <laughs> Put my apron on and my hat and my name tag. What is it that people say, where's my W2? <laughs> so I'm gonna get all this bagged up and I'll see you guys at the car. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Just a basic like uh, grocery trip, man. This is the stuff I keep in my house. I find that when you don't keep like bad stuff in your house, it's really hard to have those late night binges. Like if I keep, I don't know, let me see, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> so she's staying, right? And she's gotta have cinnamon rolls. If I just buy these and just keep them in my house on like the off chance that like I might need them one day, I'm gonna eat them, right? So I don't keep this stuff around unless, you know, I have a very specific reason for making it. If you stock your house up with stuff that uh, is not ideal for you, then you're gonna eat it, man. I want you to take one thing away from this video is that eating healthy doesn't have to necessarily be like devoid of flavor and you can't have nothing. You still have some stuff, just everything in moderation, man. So I appreciate you guys as always. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you are starting the new year off with a new diet, new something you wanna try, you wanna lose some weight, get healthier, whatever, greatchasefitness.com. I can be your personal trainer. I can make you a meal plan and tell you exactly what you gotta do. Take all the guesswork out of it and all you gotta do is follow it. And I guarantee you'll get results. I guarantee it. So you just gotta do it, man. That's it. So thank you guys, as always, and I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. We crushed that.